Hello everybody. Uh, happy National Forklift Safety Day. I'm Van Clarkson with Fairchild Equipment. Um, some of you may know me from my uh, our office safety posters. We do have a lot of fun making those, but we also, it is one of our core values and uh, we take it very seriously. Um, you know, what does safety always uh, mean for us? Uh, it means at all times and all places and all of our 200 and 80 some employees uh, have to take it seriously. You know, we want uh, all of our employees to, to leave work as healthy or healthier than they arrived as well as our customers. Some of the other ways we uh, are, show our commitment to it is uh, we have a full-time safety director uh, who spends uh, all of his 60 hours a week uh, working on making us the safest organization. He has three field safety supervisors uh, that are constantly out uh, with our, our team and making sure that they're performing uh, their job safely um, and uh, making sure that our customers' locations are, are safe for our employees to be in. Why do we have a, such a, a, a big commitment to safety? You know, as I mentioned earlier, you know, it's important that uh, our employees go home as safe as they arrive, but also we want our customers uh, to know uh, that we're going to be safe uh, in their facilities and we like to work with them on making sure that their safety is, is up to snuff. We also have, uh, I would say, industry leading operator training, which is a requirement that uh, all operators are trained on the trucks that they're going to be operating. We have three full-time uh, trainers that are constantly out there with our customers, operators, making sure that they are uh, certified to operate the equipment that they're um, driving safely. Our safety program includes significant investment in uh, equipment and training uh, for hundreds of thousands of dollars each year to make sure that our, we have the latest and greatest equipment uh, from a safety perspective for all of our field-based employees and also obviously in the office environment as well. You know, one of the things that I think is kind of unique these days is in order to address workforce challenges with trying to add uh, uh, employees in a lot of these manufacturing and distribution facilities are becoming automated uh, and robotics. Uh, and, you know, frankly, you know, people are, can be a little bit scared of what they don't know, but it is a very safe uh, solution. There's less people in a facility, less opportunity for a person versus vehicle interaction, uh, less uh, opportunity to spread, um, you know, COVID and, and, and the like as well. So, uh, and frankly, it's not that our, uh, our customers are looking to reduce the number of employees. It's that they can't hire enough employees to produce uh, the way they are today and and certainly we can consult uh, on that you know I just you know wanted to make sure that uh, on this day a very important day in our company um, and, and I frankly in our industry I just wanted to make sure that uh, everyone out there knows uh, that we live eat and sleep and breathe it here at Fairchild Equipment and if you're interested in you know a consultation on how to make your operation safe safer through robotics and automation, uh, or, or just, you know, uh, discuss, you know, our safety practices here at, at the company and how, you know, they relate to you. Um, I would encourage you to visit our website, www.fairchildequipment.com, or you may dial 844-4-Fairchild, and we'd be happy to assist you. Thank you. Thank you.